fact, well, uh, Hormuz is joining in to talk about Vodafone Idea and Indus Towers. Hormuz, over to you. Everybody is watching out for Vodafone Idea today, isn't it? The bo much awaited board meeting today, they'll consider fundraising proposals and that fundraising has been much elusive despite being talked about for a while and it was on the 14th of August last year when the management had first uh, reported, the company had reported that the promoter entity will infuse 2000 crores in the company if need be and in subsequently in October during an earnings call they had mentioned that this transaction is likely to be completed in the December quarter, that did not transpire and recently during the Grassim's paint business launch, Kumar Mangalam Birla also mentioned that they are on the lookout for new investors for Vodafone Idea. What's the street watching out for today? Of course, the quantum and the mode by which the fundraising will happen, whether the promoter entity would be participating in the fundraise and any management commentary that comes around on the road ahead. Now, why is Indus Towers also in focus? Because it owns a, Vodafone Idea owns a substantial amount of money to Indus Towers and City in a note today has raised its price target to 320 rupees from 265 earlier. They are saying they have raised their target EV to EBITDA multiple uh, to seven times from six times earlier due to improving free cash flow generation, dividend reinstatement and a pending completion of Vodafone Ideas fundraise which they believe is going to be positive and can drive further upside if it does transpire. And they are also saying that they are assuming that Indus Towers will be able to recover half of its outstanding dues from Vodafone Idea over the next two years and because of these reasons it deserves to trade at a premium due to its better tenancy ratio and a lower exposure to Vodafone Idea compared to ATC. Back to you. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot for that. Well, in the time